U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson called Iraqi Prime Minister Haider al-Abadi urging for dialogue to start, the Iraqi central government said in a statement. Iraqi government forces, Iranian-backed militias, and Kurdish troops fought alongside each other to defeat Islamic State, also called ISIS, but the alliance has faltered with the militants largely defeated in the country. Iraqi government forces and the Tehran-backed Popular Mobilization launched a surprise offensive on October 16 in retaliation to the September 25 independence referendum organized by the KRG. The city of Kirkuk, which lies in an oil-producing area, fell to Iraqi forces without much resistance on October 16 but the Peshmerga began to fight back as they withdrew closer to the Kurdish autonomous region. In an interview with Kurdish TV Ruda, Dylan called on the two sides to extend the deal to a complete halt in hostility and refocus our efforts on defeating ISIS. We are encouraging dialogue, we are trying to get the tensions down, he added. Abadi demanded on Thursday that the Kurds declare their referendum void, rejecting the KRG offer to suspend its independence push to resolve a crisis through talks. We won't accept anything but its cancellation and the respect of the constitution, he said in a statement during a visit to Tehran. The KRG proposed on Wednesday an immediate ceasefire, a suspension of the referendum result and starting an open dialogue with the federal government based on the Iraqi constitution. The fall of Kirkuk was a major blow to the Kurdish drive for independence championed by Barzani, as it have the region's oil export revenue.